here at KQA5, don't just bring you the news, we care about it. And our five family likes to take action both locally and globally, and you had the opportunity to go on an outreach mission with the organization to Kenya. Yeah, with UNICEF, it was an eye-opening and experience and quite an honor. Many have never heard of the Kakamo refugee camp. It's one of the largest in the world. And right now, there is a critical humanitarian crisis happening there. Thousands of babies and children at risk of starving to death. In an effort to help raise awareness, UNICEF invited us to meet the children of the camp. An eye-opening look at some of the world's most forgotten people. How many children do you have? Three? Though UNICEF invites us to remember the babies born here through no fault of their own, like this one in bed number five. Malnourished, sick with septic shock. Doctors assure us nine-month-old Bior will survive solely due to the medical care and treatment given by the IRC Stabilization Center. The toughest part, though, is getting the correct medical supplies that those children need. Outside, often ill, starving, and scared, mothers anxiously wait hoping to be approved to receive regular rations of these peanut butter-like packets, their last hope for food. And if they are found to be malnourished, they can immediately start on ready-to-use therapeutic food packets. It's essentially a life-saving miracle paste, as they call it. Every two weeks, the human rights organization takes its life-saving services to the natives. Here in Turkana, people gather to learn how to keep their families healthy. It takes the women three days to build these handmade huts, while the men can be gone for months scouring the bone dry land. But in the middle of one of Kenya's most arid deserts, what is growing? Hope. And it's these waving hands and smiling faces reminding us not to forget. All this week, how you can help the children of Kakuma. We're asking you to please help in any way you can. Please go to the website, ktla.com slash UNICEF or text KTLA to 564-233, 864-233 to donate $10 to UNICEF. As you can go to the website directly and donate any amount. And any small amount goes so, so far for those children. I think it's a blessing that you're able to tell this story. Oh, no. It's such a blessing to be able to tell it. I was so honored. And we're going to be telling various stories all throughout the week and the various struggles that these people are dealing with because there's so many layers to it. So we certainly hope that you can help. We'll be right back.